Hello friends, are you too lazy to do a real vintage wet set? Well, today we are going to experiment with the simple vintage wet set hack, the poodle set. Let's see how it goes. Just got out of the shower, so I am just trying to squeeze out the excess moisture. Once again, uh, this is a uh, experiment for a lazy method of wet setting for a vintage look. What works, works, you know? So let's see if this does work. Just making sure like everything is detangled. That is the initial brush through. I'm gonna add some mousse if you prefer a curl cream. That is what you prefer. And the way that I've seen it, the girls will put their hair in like a high ponytail. I'm gonna try to see if I can do some, just like clip, clip it up with bobby pins. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the ponytail for now. Uh, as a temporary measure. Now that I have the ponytail in, I'm gonna s just stick in some babe pins, you know, making a little X pattern. Ooh, this side of my head is nasty. Okay, so we're secured that way. I don't know what it looks like. I just feel that it feels secure. Take this out. Going to start making some curls, looking down, kind of feeling out. A section about yay big, I would say maybe that's an inch, half an inch, I, I don't know, I can't see. Wrapping it around my fingers, down, whoop, and loop, loop. I'm going to bobby pin that into my already established bobby pin layer. Just making sure that is smooth by brushing through it. Feels smooth, so wrapping it around my fingers. Trying to tuck that end in and roll, roll, roll. And that is another little roll ball. I am going to kick this into high gear so you don't have to watch me do that a thousand more times. Boy, I am hella thirsty and the bangs in front of my face make me feel very childlike, like I am trying to channel my inner Gerard way. Since we are so close to uh, the crown of my head, I am gonna kind of change it up. I've been kind of like just trying to roll back to the side, kind of like just wherever, wherever felt comfortable to roll. And now I'm gonna be a little bit more intentional with like the bang section. This hair is very tall. Yeah, I'm going to separate this bang section into three sections. I generally have my hair going that way. So that's the way we're actually going to roll. Mm. Like the hair going that way and I have like a little barrel roll. Jesus, my hair is so dark you can barely see that. Almost, almost, almost. Almost there. Almost there. Haha, -ha, you are pinned. My hair is so thin at the front. That is tension alopecia is why my hair is so thin at the front. And I am being picky about the front, not necessarily the back because that's actually the stuff that you're going to see. Just kind of feeling around to see if it feels loose anywhere. Okay, so this is what the back looks like. It, this is kind of cute. This is just kind of a cute hairstyle. As you can see, pretty cute hairstyle regardless uh, of it being a wet set or not. I got the loose little bits pinned in. I have myself handy dandy silky scarf. I, I don't, I'm honestly not 100% sure if this is actual silk or just a really, really good polyester, but it's a square. I have it folded in half. I cross pinned it in back just for security. That's realistically an unnecessary step. This is going to be the sleeping turban, not the going to work turban. My head looks so tall now. Hello, this is morning me. It's not great. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take 
down the uh, turban that we slept in. Honestly, I am a side of the face sleeper, so not having any rollers or anything to get in my way and having like all the curls on top of my head, that was a nine out of 10 for sleeping. Little bit damp in back, like you can feel like it's cool to the touch, it's not wet. I'm going to have like just a wrap around scarf. This is just a triangle scarf. This one has a little sleepy fox on it. Folding that in half. I'm gonna have the long side down. This is polyester so he's real slippery. I uh, crisscross pinned him to the crown of my head and I'm also gonna crisscross him up at the top real close to the curls. Little bit knot, another little knot. Pin right there to keep that tail under wraps, quite literally under wraps to twist the end up there. This is what we're gonna to go to work like. That's my I need to go alarm. Okay, so I need to go to work though. I think like the curls are well contained on the top and they actually look kind of cute. Like I did an actual poodle hairdo for this. So far I'm very much approving of this wet set for practicality and ease. Obviously would be easier if you did it in the ponytail and rolled it around curlers or ponytail and rolled it around your finger to pop it in there. I feel like this looks like it's not a wet set and I did it intentionally as is. This is kind of cute. This is kind of cute though guys. I'm, I'm liking it. Okay, so on cycle of the wet set day two, we're still on the wet set. I just think that it's gonna be easier to keep this up with all the things that I need to do today. I have like some squigglies that are trying to come out, but I think that I'm probably just gonna pin them back when I get back to the house. Kind of regretted not bringing my camera yesterday, so I'm going to show you some of the things that I was doing. Yesterday, it was about 90, 92 degrees and uh, at least 90% humidity. Today, it's probably gonna get up to the same. So this is what the wet set looks like surviving that much humidity and that much heat. Thanks, Arkansas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have one escaped curl. Where did my scarf go? And now comes to the errands portion of the day where I'm just wrapping a new headscarf to contain the little frizzlies. Tuck the end into the bow. Uh, that gives them a little bit more body. Use the pin to prop the bow up a little bit and you can't see the pin, yay. Okay, so now we're just gonna run some errands. Gonna hang out with some friends, do board games. Have a wonderfully exhausting day today. Happy weekend. Okay, so it is day three and I think officially time to take down this wet set. But I have about 20, no, I have 19 minutes left on my SIM card. So let's see if we can beat the clock on that. It's a spirally. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished look. As you can see, we have some big fluffy curls. I'm sure you already know, but the secret is in the brush out, which I just don't do if you want to uh, have a more authentic tutorial on the brush out to get like the big together curls instead of like these spirally boys that I kind of just like. <laughs> the authentic curls, there are tutorials all over the internet ways to actually show you how to do that. I think Christine McConnell has one, the Glambassador has one, like everybody and their mother has one. I would say that this wet set is definitely a pretty easy, simple, wearable one to get these big fluffy curls and uh, not be too, too fussy and be obvious that you're wearing a wet set. Somebody actually at the gym was just like, why is your hair always done so well? I'm just like, this isn't even done. This is something that I just put up like a day or two ago because I didn't want to touch it for two days. If you enjoyed this little experimental tutorial and would like to see more, I think that I've seen a couple other uh, easy wet set hacks that I would like to try out for myself. Feel free to list that with any questions, comments, or concerns down below. New videos should come out on Tuesdays and Fridays, sometimes just one though. So if I were you, I would like this video, subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you know when I actually do post. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.
Bye. Ew. Looks like I'm wearing a Hawaiian dad shirt. I, I also don't know why I decided to wear my hair down when it's 90 degrees outside.